Good to see Brother Isaac here this morning. Um, this morning, um, I want to open our meeting by uh, considering having ears to hear and taking heed to what we hear. In Mark 23 through 25, it says, If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. So the Lord has put out the word. He said, If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. And he also said, Take heed what you hear. With what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath, to him shall be given. And he that hath not, from him shall it be taken even that which he hath. So this morning, do you desire to have more from the Lord? Do you long to delve into the mysteries of the kingdom? Have you considered that there is labor, however, to hear? There's a, you have to uh, involve yourself in this. The script, this scripture that I read in Mark 23 through 25 indicates to me that unless you take heed to what you hear, what you have will be taken away. So this hearing that I'm talking about, it comes from God. It's something that he gives, um, and only he can give this kind of hearing, but we do have to take heed to it. Sometimes we might think that we speak to others and we would say, if only they would hear, they would believe, and they would be saved. But God is the one that opens up men's ears. But once he opens them, we do have to take heed. We cannot believe for a little while and expect to be saved. We have heard many of the children here even pray for ears to hear, and this is a good prayer, children, um, and for adults. Our ears are really close to our brain, so what we hear goes in and it affects our whole lives, especially our spiritual lives. It goes down into our hearts, so it's important that you take heed to what you hear, especially good things from the Lord. These are the things that we want to take heed to. The more we hear, the more we can take heed, so it's important that we're able to come here and we're able to listen and take heed to the things that the brethren uh, will preach. This morning, if you have ears to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Attitude is involved. There's different kinds of hearing. I know many of us that have had children, we, we've said, did you hear what I said? <laughs> you may have spoken to them, and, and they haven't taken heed to what we have said. So when the Lord speaks to us, we have to take heed to the things that he's speaking so you have to be able to hear them, and then you act upon these things. Your attitude is involved in this hearing. Your ability to discern is involved. Knowledge of the person or knowing the person speaking, the, the brother that, or sister that may be speaking and knowing that they are speaking through the Lord, that the Lord has given them uh, this to say, and knowing the Lord helps us to be able to discern the things that are being spoke. Uh, whether or not the listener wants to hear what is being said, are they really interested? Uh, distractions also make it hard to hear. We know that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So preaching of the word of God is critical in this hearing I am speaking of. It is a hearing that will cause you to run the race with patience. It is a hearing that will cheer the weary soul and comfort the weakened spirit. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But then, as we know, how shall they call upon him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? So, and how, and how will they hear without a preacher? So really, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things? Aren't we thankful for these brethren that are able to open up these things to us? So this morning, lay aside any distractions and hear. The, in Galatians uh, 3, 1 through 4, the Galatians uh, were bewitched because they had had Jesus set forth before them, and they had been given ears to hear, but they did not take heed to what they had heard, and they turned back to their old ways. So the things that they had had were taken away from them because they did not heed it. What kind of things can we expect to hear this morning? We may hear of the love and faith which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and all the saints. That might be something we hear. We might hear that the bowels of the saints have been refreshed by one of you, brethren, or someone may have refreshed them from afar off. We may hear of a testimony of God's faithfulness through uh, 
to our brethren this week, something that's happened. We may hear of the need to intercede in prayer for someone or a report from another land of brethren that we have not met yet. We may learn a new nugget of truth or see another facet of the kingdom that we had not yet realized. Or our Lord may send chastisement our way or praise for a good and faithful servant. He may whisper, this is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. He may increase your faith this very day by something that you hear this morning. So hearing requires effort. As I've already said, you must be an active listener. You have to desire to hear. You have to pre prepare yourself to hear. And this preparation even starts before this morning. I know personally I prepare before Sunday. I always make sure that my mind is ready and, and I get plenty of rest, that, that I'm in the frame of mind the best of my ability so that I can receive from the brethren. Today you may hear the mighty works of God, such as, Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. The Lord is our king and he will save us. You may hear, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Or you may hear, sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. So we have reason to hear this morning, brethren. It has been given to us that have ears to hear to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. And as I've already said, whosoever shall be given, whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more in abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. So it's very important that we take heed to what we hear. And blessed are your eyes, for you have been given to see in your ears that you've been given to hear. And those of you that stand before us and preach the gospel, do not be discouraged if some seem not to hear. Again, the Lord is the one that opens our ears. And if those, there are those that have had their ears open, but they do not take heed, then we are not responsible. We are responsible to preach the gospel to all. And if they do not listen, their blood will not be upon our heads. And what if the Lord chose not to hear us? You know, many people cry out to the Lord in times of distress, but they don't take heed to him in any other time. But our Lord has listened uh, to us. In our distress, when we've called out upon the Lord, he's heard our voice. And he did, and our cry has entered into his ears. Many of us have experienced this. So our Lord listens to us. So when it makes sense that we would listen to him. And in Isaiah 32, 1 through 3, it says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. So such a king as this should be hearkened to. So this morning, I, um, my brethren, I'd, I'd like to encourage you to, those that have ears, let him hear what the Lord would teach us today. Let us draw close to our God and depend on him for all things that pertain unto life and godliness. And um, he's called us, so take hold of the things that are given to us today and grow in your faith.